Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And here's coming another tech video about Toyotas. This time about this wireless remote control. In different video on this channel I showed you how to program this unit to communicate with the car. And in this video we will be replacing the battery. If you look in your owner's manual, you will find out that this remote is using these small batteries and the model is CR2016. So let's go together to see how to open that remote and replace that battery. And it's pretty cool because to open this transmitter you don't even need any special tools. That Toyota manual even shows you in one of those little pictures that you can use the coin to pop it open. Who says that the penny is worthless? Huh? It's a special tool for Toyota repair. And on this side, the opposite of the ring, right, right here, is like a little opening. So if I put that coin in it and turn it sideways, look, it's separated, the case, the transmitter separated right here and I should be able to move the bottom from the top. A look at this, this is absolutely wonderful, you can see inside of that transmitter. Now my next step will be removing the battery, so if you look in detail on it, I will use this pick and I will put it right here in this corner and basically pop that battery up. Let's see if I can do that. Oh yeah, pretty easy operation. Boom! It just jumped away. Now if you read the package, right, the packaging says that this small battery is a 3 volt battery. But don't get that fool you. If I use here the voltmeter, I will show you what is the voltage of brand new one. Do you see it? I believe it says 3.27 volts. So if it's 3 volts, that's actually the voltage when the remote control will start having problems and it will be not working correctly. The reason why I'm making this video of the day for you is because the remote suddenly was not very sensitive and I had to really point it at the car. So let's see what is that old battery, what's the voltage, right? And if I'm looking correctly on my camcorder, it says 3.02. So that you have confirmation what I just said. The battery needs to be way more than 3 volts for that remote operate correctly. So I have here that brand new battery and the installation should be very easy. The plus goes up, right? We saw it in the video and I will be just inserting it this way until it catches its place. Oh, did you hear that? Perfect. Now I will just continue, right, the way I took it apart, I will go the opposite way and you heard a click, click, right, I squeeze it together, it's nicely all closed, there should be not any moisture getting inside and let's see if it works. Before I really had to go back to the car. Now I'm actually setting facing away from the car and let's hear if it will be sensitive to it. Oh yeah, did you hear that? The car perfectly reacts despite the fact I'm basically facing the other way. Wonderful, this was successful repair. I'm confident that many people will find this video helpful and please make sure you are subscribed because I have way more videos coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.